guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Morgan and today I'm gonna be doing a video on what is in my purse. I see all these videos of these girls doing these videos and it's so fun to watch. And the only thing that's gonna be different about this video than their video is they know what kind of purse they have and they know how much it costs and all those things. And honestly, I don't. Usually I don't carry this purse, but I have lately ever since I realized that I have more stuff that I need and carrying a satchel is not in my best interest. <laughs> so I switched back to this purse. John got it for me for Christmas one year and I love it so much. It's such an easy purse to carry around and it's big and all the things. So if you want to see what is in my Michael Kors purse then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay so I have a lot of stuff in here. I have like bags in here so it doesn't look so cluttered. Um, so I just put all my stuff in bags. And since I have an Ipsy account, it makes it a lot easier to carry around junk because you can't see it. So the first thing in here I'm going to pull out is this. And this is obviously an Ipsy bag. In this bag I have makeup that I take with me everywhere just in case I need to touch up. So I have a little miniature brush that my friend Laurel got me um, that I use with my powder. And I have this Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in here just in case I need it. And I also have this Sonia Kashuk Pressed Powder that I use with this brush. It comes with a little brush but I don't know I just I like this one better and I just dropped it so <laughs> and the next thing in the bag is this and this is also an ipsy bag that I have but this has different stuff in it so I have a hand cream from Bath and Body Works and it was like a dollar something during their semi-annual sale and I love it it smells so good and then I also have this hand cream and it's from Tony Moly and it is the Chalk Chalk Green Tea Watery Cream and it's just another hand cream. Okay, so also in this bag I have my essential oils that I carry around and I have peppermint and I have lavender. Um, lavender keeps me calm and the peppermint, I think it reduces headaches or something, I don't know. I just like the way they smell. I definitely use the lavender all the time. I actually carry it around because I have this Lava Rock bracelet that you can put your essential oils in and then it just you literally just smell it throughout the whole day. If you don't have one of these bracelets and you are obsessed with essential oils or you just like essential oils, I highly recommend. I got this one in Sedona, Arizona when I was visiting, but they have them online and they have them on Amazon for like $10 and stuff, so I highly recommend. And also, I have this roller ball in here, and my friend Caitlin, her mom made this for me. She's like really into essential oils and she makes a lot of things, and this is another roller ball that I put on, and it has like all the things like stress relief and calming and... I don't know, it just, it's for balance and I love it. It's just great and then I just roll it on my skin and I just go about my day. So the next thing in my bag is my wallet and you guys know what a wallet is, so yeah, it matches my purse, I know. <laughs> so the next thing in my bag are my keys and you know, these are just my keys. This is how I get around and get into places and yeah, so <laughs> what do you say about keys? Their keys I don't know So I have this thing and this is one of those Vera Bradley like lanyard things that have the card holder thing with it I don't really know what it's called but I have this and I have my gift cards in here and so yeah I just carry this okay around. and then the next thing in my bag is the most important and I'm sure a lot of girls especially girls that have a huge purse have a bag like this and this is all the lip products that I've ever put on in my life that I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna need this to reapply during the day and then you leave them in your purse and then you're like where did those go and then you look in this and you're like oh my gosh there they are so this is a overfilled bag of my lip products that I always forget that I have this is it's absolutely ridiculous they're all like the same color and that's what's so bad about it yeah I literally have all of these in here so I I'm gonna show you guys what I have I have the Maybelline romantic rose is a lipstick it's super pretty love and then I have this ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Aquarius, and you guys know that this is just a great color. I also have this ColourPop Lip Gloss in the shade Bestie, and it is a very, very, very pretty nude. I also have this Essence Lipstick in the shade Nude Love, and it's also a really pretty color. Also, this is one of my favorite things that I've gotten so far. This is a Juice Infused Lip Oil by Ulta. I got this as a birthday gift from Ulta. If you guys have never tried these, I highly recommend. I also have this Rimmel London Kate Lip Glossy kind of thing. I don't really know what the, what you'd call this. It's a lipstick, but it's clear and it looks yellow, but it's not. It just makes your lips super glossy and you probably can't even see that. Um, but I really like this. Also, I have this other Essence lipstick and this is in the shade Cool Nude and this one's also really pretty. So I also have this ColourPop lip gloss and it's in the shade Weho. And if you guys have never seen that video, she goes, boom, 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 let me hear you say Weho, Weho. That's, that's literally why I bought this because of that video. And it's actually really pretty. It's like a brownie nude. 
did just buy it for the name, but when I got it, it was actually a really pretty color too. So best of both worlds. I'm gonna link that video down below. Please go watch it, it's so funny. And then I have this Eaten Up NYX Butter Gloss and it's in the shade Fortune Cookie. You guys know this is one of my ride or dies. Then I also have this Urban Decay Lipstick in the shade Naked. Um, this is also a really pretty pinky nude. I know I have an obsession, I have a problem. I don't need these many in my purse, but guess what? I have them. The next one is this blushing beige and it's from Maybelline and I got this a long time ago because Manny and Mue was like oh my gosh this is perfect and it is. The last things I have in this bag are chapsticks and I have three. I have this sun bum one. I have this one from my work. I have this lasting smiles organic lip balm and then I have a blistex. Um, I keep these obviously because when your lips get chapped you need them and John always asks me for chapstick and when I have my little purse I don't carry it and he gets really mad so now I have them so he can't get mad at me. Okay so I realized that I have way too many lip products in my purse, but that doesn't mean I'm taking them out because what if one day I need them? I think every girl goes through this issue. If you do, please, please let me know down in the comments so I know I'm not alone, even though I probably am. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys want to see my lip gloss or my lip collection, please let me know. I would be more than happy to do that video for you guys, or I could do like my favorite lip products. Um, which would be a lot and they'd all be nude. But if you wanna see that video, please let me know down in the comments. I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. I don't have any more bags in the purse, but I do have stuff in the side pocket. I keep my pens and my pencils in here just so I have them, but I, I'm telling you, I have way too much. If you need a pencil or a pen, girl, just let me know. I got you, I got you. And on this side, the last compartment of this purse, I have this and this is one of my favorite perfumes ever. Well, it's a, it's a body spray, but same thing. This is the pink warm and cozy and it smells so good and it's so small and it's perfect and it's just like a perfect like clean I don't really know like it warm and cozy is literally what it smells like okay guys so that is everything that is in my Michael Kors purse I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I definitely put myself a little bit out there because I let you guys know how much of a hoarder I am of lip products and pencils and pens so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up other than that I think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>